where is again nothing around except the road and the houses. And here you have the only bus stop where you get uh, strawberries growing under the bench. Check this out. Mm. And we have backwind. And we have backwind. Yay. And we had to head back to Krenica to uh, get uh, more tubes because uh, I got Dunlop uh, tube which doesn't fit to my rim. Original plan was to get another hotel in Krenica but um, we had hotel yesterday. We took a shower, we washed our clothes so uh, we decided to to camp again. I think we're gonna camp here for another two nights because the weather forecast predicts heavy rain tomorrow and we are in Beskid Niski. I think still Beskid Sondetski and it's really outstanding you know uh, the nature here and and you know it's very very rarely populated and we have just fields and the forests literally nothing around And as you guessed, the rain lasted longer than expected. But after three rainy nights, we were finally able to continue cycling. There's so many churches in the south of Poland. They're all wooden and old and beautiful. So we arrived to Novica, it's a beautiful valley, here we found this old wooden house uh, next to this chapel and this one has some artifacts you know, like old crosses, here's some figure of Jesus. Beskid Niski area used to be populated by an ethnic group called Lemkov. Novica is one of the Lemkov villages that's worth visiting. Here people lived in cute wooden buildings called Hirja and were occupied in the wood industry, mainly producing handmade wooden spoons. Unfortunately, in late 40s, under the code name Operation Vistula, Lemkov people were resettled by force under command of Soviet installed Polish communist authorities. <coughs> For us, this part of the trip was very special. We enjoyed the solitude of the area and we were spoiled with the most beautiful camping spots. Back 
Back in 1915, the massive Austro-Hungarian army, counting 215,000 of soldiers, stood here in front of the Russian army. The Russians were defeated and moved back eastwards, leaving many dead on both sides. We visited a few out of 315 graveyards placed along the front line. We learned that during these dark times Polish people were forced to fight against each other, being drowned to the army by Russians as well as Austrians. And then we came across another challenge. The only way to get through is going across the river and uh, it's been raining for the last few days so the river for sure is usually but yeah so Poland now I feel like in Kazakhstan or something <laughs> Be careful we just oh. by the way it, it was just raining a bit and it's really cold today so this is really not a pleasant thing to do right now. And actually maps me lead us another path which just led us to, to some ruin and flooded grass. So we turned and we looked for other ways that we can find them. And now we are crossing this river. Arthur just did it. So Arthur's trying to turn it away. I don't think that one is better. <laughs> oh, this is tough. Oh. Oh, wow, 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 my legs. Oh. It's a pinchy <laughs> needle. It's so cold. Yeah. But it's healthy, I heard. Oh, it's healthy to get sick, yeah. And there will be deep. Be careful, don't drop down, you know. Easy, easy. River number two, check. We thought we might be able to just walk across with the bikes without lifting them up but I just went and it's still too deep so I just still carry it It says that uh, <clears throat> this is a cemetery uh, of Wemkowski people and uh, the name is Nieznajowa and uh, the people were removed from here in 1945. It's the seventh river we crossed today and hopefully it's the last one. Huh? <laughs> Not much of a cycling day, huh? <laughs> much of a pushing day the rivers. I'm gonna make it easy. I'm better cameraman that's why I'm filming and she's pushing you know. <laughs> it's, it's the 2nd of June now but we, we read a few days ago that it was the coldest May in 30 years so we are having probably the wettest. Well, I'm talking in the wettest <laughs> and yeah that shows we are in pretty rough conditions. This is the proof of that. Um, 
So here we can see symbolic uh, door to the village which doesn't exist anymore and people were forced uh, to move to Ukraine uh, here you can see pictures of the of the family living here and uh, the place was called Duge We're having a rap break, hummus rap break, and we are approaching an abandoned village. You can see the fruit trees. That's what's left, and and some um, stone uh, crosses and stuff like this. So we are hiding from the rain again. These are our bikes on the hill. And uh, it's the entrance to the little chapel we are hiding in. There is many of them on the way. These ornaments look very old. See some sheep faces, apostles. Another one. And Elena. And that's me. You can see the year it was built in 1782. Unbelievable. Very, very old. Maybe it was built actually earlier. Another cemetery on the left, and ahead we have uh, another <coughs> war cemetery from the first world war. So we entered again Magurski Park Narodowy. Going back north. Okay, there was a bear warning, so we are in the home of bears. Ha! How do you feel to be in the home of bears? Can't wait to the see sign that. said, "Slow down. There are bears." <laughs> We need to slow down, Elena. <laughs> you ready to slow down? Ready to pull back the apple tree. <laughs> Bear country, yes! to Ivonich Zdruy, another uh, health resort and we are trying uh, water uh, from the mineral spring and this one is called Czesław Elena is going to try it now and she's gonna 
tell us how does it taste. So how the water taste? I don't know. Creamy. How does it taste? Creamy. <laughs> this is the first water we have, which is tastes creamy. it tastes creamy. It's not disgusting and not sparkly. Wonicz Zdroj, as one of the oldest health resorts in Poland, was built due to the very clean air as well as the abundance of mineral water. The architecture is typical for Polish mountain health resorts and built in the Swiss style. For watching in the next video we will arrive in Beszczady, the wild east of Poland. If you enjoyed this video please like, subscribe and leave a comment. Bye!